This is Jonathan. I'm in Mastercam X7 doing the cutting board. I start right here with my machine type router. I have to start at manage list. I scroll all the way to the bottom. and It's going to be a techno servo RMD. I select it and hit add and it goes on that list here. And I hit the green check mark. And then I go back to machine type router and it'll be right here. And I open it up. Under properties, I go to stock setup. Under stock setup, I put my bit in the lower left-hand corner. My board, the rectangular board I have, is 13 in the X, 10 in the Y, and with the caliper, it's 0.75 thick. Okay, if I want to see that, I hit display right here. And make that rectangle smaller than the actual wood you have to work with. Make it smaller by about a half inch or so. Okay. F9 on my keyboard gives me crosshairs. I'm going to go create a rectangle. I'm going to start at the origin. I'm going to go over 13, up 10. I click in the first quadrant. Done the operation. This here is fit screen. Now that I'm done, I want to fill up my corners. I'll put a one inch fillet in two of the corners and then a three inch fillet in the other two corners. This one right here, I think I'll delete, and I'll put that as a one-inch fillet. Okay, so there are my fillets. Uh, I'm all done that operation. I'm going to offset it. So that's an X form, offset contour. I select it with the chain. I'm done selecting it. It offset it onto the outside. I want to change that direction. And I also want to offset it a full inch. So that looks good. I think I'll go back and fill it those. So fill it with a one inch on there. Okay, I'm all done. My geometry is all done. My next step is to tool path. I have to do the blood groove first. Tool path, contour, I name it. It's, this is selected. I click on that. It goes all the way around. I'm going to select a quarter inch mill. So it's down here, quarter inch ball cutter. I'm going to go to feed rate of 80, sun rate of 40. The blue holds my setting. Holder, no changes. Cut parameters. I'm going to turn this off so the cutter runs down the center of the arrow. Depth of cut, I always set this as a safety at 0.2, less than the diameter of the cutter. Lead in, lead out, I turn off. And linking parameters, these are all absolute with a negative 0.15 for the depth of my leg group. That has to be a negative, holds the setting, green check mark. I'm going to do one more tool path as a contour. I'm going to select it as a chain. I click near this point. I have to be on this side of the midpoint. My arrow is going clockwise. If the arrow is going the wrong way, you could change it there. So arrow is going clockwise. I have that quarter inch ball cutter at 8040. Compensation, I'm going to turn the computer back on. My arrow is going clockwise. That keeps the bit on the outside. Depth of cut is important on this one, 0.2. Lead ins turned off. I am going to create tabs on this. I'm going to do them automatically on all parts and linking parameters. They're all absolute. This is a negative 0.75 because that's the thickness of my board. Green check mark, I'm done. This will select both of them. I'm going to verify in an isometric view. My check is, is that the blood groove goes first. It does it in one pass on the blood groove and four passes on the actual board. I like the way that looks. I go file save as i'm going to save it to my student folder okay and then after you save that mcx file then you additionally besides saving the mcx file you convert this into numeric code by hitting this post button it has to go to a flash drive so you have to have a flash drive to put this on i hit g1 this has to say techno step in this case i'm just going to put it on my desktop i name it with my block i hit save and it converts all this complex geometry and tool pathing 
into a numeric code, and that's what the tool runs. It takes a while to generate all that, but here's my code. It's not all that much code, 75 lines of code. I close that, I take my flash drive out, I close my folder out, uh, and I'm ready to run my cutting board.